Hi there, and welcome back to the farmhouse. What, Jay's Table. <laughs> Tonight, we are going to make an amazing salad, which is... Asian cucumber salad. And... Mongolian beef. Man, it's going to be awesome. We've got to run a couple errands before that. we got to go get Mr. Man here. A game at GameStop. And then we're going to get a Petco. We're going to check that out. And then mommy's gonna come home and cook. Does that sound good to you, bud? Yes. I love you. Love you. We are out on the town, but I wanted to share this with you even though it's backwards. Baby, let's enjoy spending special experiences daily. Blessed. Think about it. All right, we are back from running our errands. And the first thing that I'm going to do is start on this Asian cucumber salad. Oh my gosh, please understand that this recipe, along with the Mongolian beef, which can be any kind of protein, is one of our family favorites. So please follow along. All right, my first ingredient that I have is seasoned rice vinegar, okay? Now, for this recipe, we are going to have three, kind of on the smaller, regular size cucumbers, okay? And I'm just going to pour this into our bowl that we're gonna serve our salad in. So this is about a cup of seasoned rice vinegar. It's, um, that was the rest of that bottle. So that's about a cup of that. Next, I'm going to add just a couple of teaspoons of sesame oil. This stuff is delicious, but it's also very potent. It's very strong. So we don't wanna to add too much. Just a couple of teaspoons, boom, right there. Next, you can add sugar, but I have always made this salad using stevia, and that measures tablespoon to tablespoon, teaspoon to teaspoon, okay? So the amount of, that you use is equivalent, okay, to stevia to sugar. So for this, I'm going to add about six tablespoons, yes, she's not measuring, of Stevia, that looks like a lot. It's about six tablespoons. All right, next we're gonna add some sesame seeds, just to your liking. You don't have to have these at all. I feel like they're more aesthetic than anything else. And then just to tell them who's boss, we're gonna add some crushed red pepper. Oh, about a half a teaspoon right there, okay. So with this, I'm going to take my whisk. All my other whisks are dirty and this is the one for the mixer, whatever. We do things here real on the farm. And I'm just gonna give this a mix. Now you can taste this beforehand. Can I tell you right now as I'm mixing that I do realize that I did forget an ingredient. Do you know what it is? Do you know what it is? Sweet Jesus, did you see that happen? It's fine, it's salt. Okay. I'm not using pink Himalayan salt for this because that's a lot of, a lot of salt. Oop. You had to dip all the way in, didn't you? This is gonna be a couple teaspoons of salt. We'll give that a mix. I'm telling you, this salad is so easy going. The dressing, oh my goodness. It's hard to mess it up. All right, let me put this away. I'm gonna move our dressing to the side and just kind of let that marry together. And then I have my cucumber, which I'm going to cut the ends off of and I'm going to peel but instead of just peeling and slicing tonight 
especially when it comes to this salad, okay? I want to de-seed it because the seeds are where a lot of the water or moisture is found and we don't want that. We just want the goods. We want the meat of the cucumber, okay? So, I'm just gonna peel this. Yes, I'm just gonna show you peeling this one and then I'll do other ones, but I'll show you this one because I wanna show you how I take the seeds out. So, last little doohickey here, here we go. Then I'm gonna cut this right in half. There we go. Okay, right down the center. Now we can see that the seeds are all here, everything's there. Now I'm gonna get just a regular spoon and I'm going to scrape these seeds out. Okay, kind of like you would with a pumpkin. Y'all know I love pumpkins. Okay, look, Oop, it's a little slippery. All right, here we go. I'm shooting seeds everywhere, it's fine. Look at that, how long did that take? Not long, great. Okay, same thing other side. I'm only gonna show you this one cucumber and I'm gonna do the rest. All right. Now, most of the seeds are out. I'm just gonna cut. Now, if I had my big knife, I could do it a lot quicker. I scare my husband so much. <laughs> and I'll have to show you one day when I do it. With my big butcher knife, I chop them thin and fast. But I just have my little knife here tonight. They're not all even. When they're not all even and it's not perfect, in the cooking world, we call that rustic. And that makes it sound special. And that's what we're going for. Okay, great. So we're gonna just break those apart, put them in the bowl. Okay, so we are on to the Mongolian beef. What you're seeing here is a pot full of water, some salt and oil. This is going to be for our thin spaghetti that we are going to use for our Mongolian beef. You can use any pasta. You can use linguine. You could use Asian rice noodles, whatever floats your boat. We are using thin spaghetti. All right, for our Mongolian beef, I am using two pounds of lean ground beef for this. So I have put nonstick spray in this pot. I know you're all familiar with this pot. <laughs> and then I put the two pounds of lean ground beef in it. We are going to send this on its merry way to get a little brown. Oh, you're just gonna break it up. Break it up, break it up, break it up until it gets a little bit more brown. And then we will add our other ingredients. All right, here we are. I have my two pounds of lean ground beef browning up. I'm just chopping it up. I should say chopping because I'm not using a knife. I'm breaking it up into small pieces. And then I'm going to add some ginger. Now look, you can use grated ginger. Now this is from Aldi and it's the cheapest I've found. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. So for two pounds of ground beef, so you may want to, if you're using one pound, you may want to use half of this, about two tablespoons of ground ginger. And I shot it all over my stove. Then I'm going to add my garlic, also from Aldi. I'm gonna add about the same amount of garlic. It's so much cheaper at Aldi, please get it. And it tastes so good and it's organic. You know, they say that's good, whatever. 
All right, then I'm going to add about a half a cup of soy sauce. Where's your measuring cups? They're in my brain. See that? They're in my brain. Okay, half a cup of soy sauce. And about a half a cup of broth. Now look, this is lean ground beef and this is chicken broth. I know, it's like we're mixing two different worlds. If you have beef broth, great. But this is gonna be chicken broth tonight. Okay, great. So we added about a half a cup of chicken broth. You can use beef broth. We're going to add our brown sugar, which is going to be about a half a cup. Hold on, let me get my measuring cup out. I'm just kidding. Okay, about a half a cup. This is really hard to mess up and it's gonna be okay. God knows, I have such a hard time measuring. Oh my gosh, I know I should. I know I should, I know. All right, so I'm mixing in the brown sugar. Now I'm going to add about four to six. Oh, what? Tablespoons of hoisin sauce. Man, this stuff is awesome. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> and we've also heard uncomfortable noises along the way. All right, so I added that in. Gonna give that a mix. So this sauce with the ground beef is going to be very potent. It's gonna be very, it's gonna have oh, an amazing taste to it. But you don't need a lot of sauce to coat the noodles, okay? Now, the next thing that we're going to add, la this is the last ingredient, is crushed red pepper flakes. I'm just gonna add about a teaspoon, boom, okay? Enough to make it intriguing, not too much to make it painful tomorrow. The next thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna turn the heat down to low while my, here it is. Wow, that was a lot of movement, I'm so sorry. Water is boiling, I put oil and salt, it's boiling and I'm going to add my thin spaghetti and we'll get to that next. All right, so our noodles finished cooking. We just, like I just cooked them on the lower end of the cooking time. I'm just gonna add them to the sauce. That's just one box and it looks like so much. Okay, all right, we have some friends that wanna hang around. All right, and then I'm just going to mix this together and let the Mongolian beef sauce kind of marry to the noodles. And everything will be done. I just let this mix and then let it sit for a few minutes just until the noodles get seasoned in the sauce that we made. Oh my gosh, it's so good, I can't wait to eat it. I know we've had this meal over and over again, right? Yes. <laughs> but I just want you to still taste test for the folks and tell them how amazing it is. Here it comes. Whoa, that's a big old something something. That's fine. It's delicious, right? Mm -hmm. Is it because I told you to say that? No. I know. Okay, so we have this, we have our cucumber salad. Thank you, if you make anything that I've made on my videos, Make this one, it's delicious. You heard it from Mr. J's, it's delicious. Listen, we've had this many nights for dinner and it is probably my most favorite recipe as far as an entree goes. I don't know if that's true. Top five, I don't know, it's so much pressure. Anyway. 
we just love it. And it's simple ingredients, cheap ingredients that taste so good. Oh my gosh, please give this a go, okay? Thank you so much for watching. And again, if you like what you see, like my video and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful and blessed night. Bye-bye.